Hi, my name is Victor Gibson. Um, I'm a first year instructor here at Thaddeus Stevens College and um, I'm here to just break down a little bit of what our program is like. Basically, I teach automotive technology. My class runs every day from 12 to 4.30 p.m. I expect my students to come in every day. I have a time clock on the wall. I run the shop just like I would a garage or a business. I take role attendance every day. If you're not on time, I take points off your final grade, just like a boss would send you home if you weren't prepared for work. I expect students to have their own tools. There's a tool list on our website uh, that lists what you need when you come to class. My goal is not to make a super tech or a person that knows everything. My goal is to create a basic entry level automotive technician. I will take basically anyone. So even if you don't know anything about a car or a truck, come on in, we can teach you from scratch. The issue is not whether you know or not. The issue is can you learn more as you develop on a job and in a job setting. I have a theory room upstairs. I teach basically 50% theory and 50% hands-on. We have an 11 bay garage where we actually have live cars where students actually work on. One of the biggest questions I get most of the time is, well, why can't I just rip a car apart? Why can't I just work on stuff? Well, if you don't know what, you, what you're doing, how are you just going to rip something apart? Then I'd be the guy in here putting cars back together every day. My goal is not just have you take something apart. I could teach anybody to replace brake pads or a muffler, but I want you to be the person male or female to tell me why you put on three sets of brake pads in 5,000 miles because we keep wearing our brake pads. I don't want to teach you how to just replace parts. I want you to know why something breaks. I want you to get to the root of the problem and then solve it. Some of the things that I get involved with in the first course, automotive safety systems. Okay, how to be safe in the shop. I call it my foundation and safety course. Uh, I go through a thorough check of what tools are, how to properly use, use tools, what is a wrench, what is a screwdriver, how to be safe in the shop, safety equipment, per personal protective equipment, safety glasses, how to set up a vehicle on a lift. My second course is an engine rebuild course. People say, oh great, that's the fun stuff, we want to rebuild engines. Now it's more than just rebuilding a motor, it's more than just pulling pistons out. How does that fuel get in the engine? How does that exhaust get out of the engine? How do those pistons do what they do? What about ignition and valve timing? I teach all of those as part of my second course. So it's not just about pistons, it's about how they do what they do and work with a, probably 100 or more other parts in the engine. So I teach basic systems when they come in and then Mr. Christian, the second instructor, will take it to a more advanced level. For instance, when I'm teaching basic brakes, I'm teaching hydraulics, how brakes work, different types of brake material, okay? Second year, Mr. Christian is gonna teach you not only how brakes work, he's actually gonna have you doing the on-car brake lathe procedure, how to cut drums and rotors, things of that sort, things that you'd actually do on the job. A typical car from say 2002 on up to now has about eight or nine computers on it or more. So we actually teach the students how to interface with the computer, what the computer sees. The, basically the computer's having a conversation with other computers in the car and we teach you what that conversation is about, what information is pertinent to what's going on in the vehicle as to why it's breaking or doing what it's doing. When you come to Thaddeus Stevens College, I expect you to come with a good attitude, a good work ethic, and I will give you everything I have. All my 22 years experience, I will pour into you. I'm teaching a student how to be ready for the real world. I expect you to come in, be ready to work, willing to work, and really to enjoy what you're doing. Hi, I'm Josh Stauffer. I'm a first year student in the Automotive Technology Program here at Stevens. You might have some questions as to what it's like coming into the college, what it's like when you actually get in the classroom setting. Really, there's not that much required that you can't do. One of the main things is show up to class on time, make sure you complete your homework in time, and to use some common sense when you're in the shop as far as safety and even as far as problem solving. They don't ask you to do anything that is beyond what you can do. They give you plenty of time to get stuff done. They're basically tr trying to prepare you for the workplace and the work you have to do. It, sometimes it can be nice to have some experience in the field, know a little bit what's going on with cars, but they do go over the basics of everything. They show you the tools, and they cover the basics on the motors and cars and they take you from knowing not much at all to knowing what you need to to be a basic automotive technician in the field. Some of the things the instructors expect of you, they expect you to uh, think on your own, use some initiative. Uh, when you're in the workplace, you won't always have an instructor to tell you how to finish a job. You may have to look it up yourself. So try to work through things on your own as opposed to just always asking them how to do it and have them showing you. They're always there when you need them if you can't figure something out on your own. They expect you to show up on time, um, act like you would in the workplace, be professional, work hard, don't slack off, don't be using your cell phone during work times in the shop, um, and pay attention. They do try to provide as much um, hands-on time as they can. Uh, they, students usually generally learn better with a hands-on um, experience. Obviously no one really likes the, the time in the classroom just sitting listening to them talk, 
but some of that is needed. It's not necessarily going to be a glory job. You're going to get your hands dirty. Um, there are safety precautions you have to take out for. You're lifting vehicles in the air, but you just have to use some common sense the way you would anywhere in the workplace um, to make sure you don't get hurt and do the best you can, no matter how dirty the job may be. So that's basically a quick rundown on what they require of you. I'd love to see you guys come here. Have a great day.